Hey everybody, it's Amy with Sassy Seedlings. Thanks for stopping by for another video. Today I'm happy the weather is nice and I'm actually able to be out in the greenhouse where we have plenty of light and more space. Um, today I'm actually going to be planting um, a flat or a tray of flowers here. So basically I have all different kinds. We'll go through them as, as we go, just if you're interested. It's some of the seeds that I bought from M.I. Garner, Botanical Interest in Dollar Seeds, and some seed hauls last month, and I'm finally going to get them planted. So for this, to make life a little bit easier, I bought, it was from Burpee. I got them, I think, on Walmart online. They're very small discs, um, and they fit in each of these holes and you add water in the bottom and they blow up and, and fill it all the way to the top. So it was perfect. Came in a pack of 72, 72 holes here. So we were good to go. Um, didn't have to dig out a bag of dirt and do anything there. So trying to make life a little bit easier whenever I'm gonna have some crazy work days. So these are already filled up and already pre-moistened. I brought out some tags so that I can write down what we're planning and I figured we'll just chat a little bit about gardening while we go here. So one of the first flowers that I'm going to plant is Aster. I have a violet color, um, a rose color, and an apricot color in addition to some other ones that I planted. But I'm going to start with those and for the flowers. I'm going to probably put at least three in each cell. I probably won't thin. I don't really thin flowers whenever they pop up. If all the seedlings look good, I generally move them around. Um, I have plenty of space in my yard for these, so um, maybe four in each area. Now the thing is, I'm gonna. You have to make sure, if this is important to you, that you do make tags. Um, you don't want to just have one row and say that they're all asters, <laughs> because obviously you're gonna have different colors. So I'm gonna want to make a tag for the violet asters. Um, and I, the first two cells, I have violet asters. So I'll make one tag and then the next, so however many cells it takes up. So I'm going to put violet aster and then the next tag I'll start here. We'll do two of the rows and I'll also make a tag for the upper cart. Sorry, that's me rattling the bag. So I hadn't made videos for quite some time, well over a year or more, and just life got busy. I ended up having surgery, and things just got away from me. So I really wanted to get back into growing my YouTube channel and my website, sassyseedlings.com. So my videos aren't going to be professional. Um, some of the, the creators out there are making them like it's a TV show, and that's great. I'm just not at that level. I'm just an ordinary person um, that loves gardening. I want to share that information. I wish this is something I could do all day long, but unfortunately, you know, I do work a full-time job, which I do get to do at home. So you're not going to hear any complaints from me because I'm able to be out here on my lunch break or my regular 15-minute breaks and able to putter around the garden keep an eye on things, check things out. So, like I say, no complaints there. Happy I have a job, glad I'm able to do it from home. And I actually just now realized that, did I, think I got chatting away and don't even know what I put in there, okay so much for talking and working at the same time. I'm going to back up a little bit here. 
But um, so I'm glad for the ability to be able to work from home for sure. But it takes a while to get used to videoing things and remembering to take pictures. For the longest time, I'm, I was doing something and I thought afterward, why didn't I video that? People will ask me how to do something or how something looks in my yard and I could have easily shown them. But unfortunately, I always forgot. So everything that I'm doing right now, I have been taking the time to set up a camera and record, which is recording yourself. And it's just not as simple as one would think. Uh, I'll get better at it. I'll get better at figuring out lighting, but whenever it's raining and dark and yucky outside, um, you don't have the best light inside either, especially in my office slash plant room because I have arrow gardens in there, hydroponic systems and grow lights and it's just a lot of different things to, to figure out. So for this next row, I'm gonna do this poppy called Lauren's Grape. This is my first year growing poppies, so it should be interesting. They have a lot of really pretty colors. Hopefully there's, these are tiny seeds, so I put several in each cell and uh, I don't mind once I see what germinates if the seedlings are healthy looking uh, they will get put somewhere in my yard or given away so I don't keep rattling in everybody's ears I'm gonna take my tags out of that bag there but I just figured if you're visiting for the first time you're gonna wonder why I have a whopping 53 people um, it's just that I, I started something in it. It petered off a little bit just due to life circumstances. And, um, you know, with everything going on, I got into a funk. And, yeah, there we are. So now I'm back looking to really grow this channel. So I hope you'll give me a chance and, and stay with me. There's plenty that, that I can learn from people who subscribe or visit. And I hope that you learn something or get some good laughs because not everything goes the way that you plan. Definitely don't for me. So every video there's a chance for, for some sort of blooper. But I know a lot of people have grown up with people around them gardening. Maybe their grandmother or mother or aunts or neighbor, anybody. And uh, it's something that they've always wanted to do, but they didn't have the time, the space, the energy, um, or the confidence. And really, for gardening, look, it's, it's something anybody can learn to do. I know so many people say that they have a, a brown thumb or a black thumb, that they kill everything they try to grow. And really, the biggest thing is making sure that you keep things watered and that you don't overwater them. Uh, that goes for inside, outside, house plants, vegetables, um, and you learn. You learn really quickly. I'm still learning with my house plants every day. Um, that's something else I hope to show people on this channel. I got a pretty good collection of house plants that I've learned a lot about, and I like to share them too. They're way more trying than growing some of these other things here. Um, this doesn't have a picture, but I just planted some red cornflower and I'm going to do some white cornflower now. The cornflower, I believe I have a blue color, but this is the first year I hope to have a, a lot in a couple different colors. These, I did make a video on um, a seed haul, but this is from Dollar Seed. It's a dollar. This is what the packaging is. And if you look, you get quite a bit of seed. So I was impressed with what they had to offer and their pricing, shipping, the whole nine yards. So I really look forward to seeing how the seeds that I get from them germinate. They look really nice. Uh, that's one thing when you're getting seeds that are in a a solid package you you can try to feel around that's a little more than a few 
that I planted there, stealing a little bit of dirt from some other cells, um, just to cover over these first few, and I might have to get some more later, but in case you're wondering what on earth I'm doing. But I, as I was saying, with, with regular packages, you can kind of feel around if they're bigger seeds, you might have an idea. Sometimes they tell you on a package, sometimes you have no idea, you're surprised. Um, and you might think, wow, I, I didn't get a lot for what I spent. And some seeds, it's hard to tell because these are snapdragon seeds. And, and they are tiny tiny but I'm telling you snapdragons are one of my favorite flowers these might be tiny but they grow and they live year-round for me they don't bloom obviously but uh, yeah and uh, what doesn't stay in green will sprout back up so no complaints on that but if you have a solid package and you're feeling it you're like wow I don't have very much in there but you do you really do it's just they're tiny so, let's see. So far I've planted three different color asters, two different fellow color cornflowers, and some poppy seeds. And I'm going to try to pick and have some different stuff here. Um, here's another variety of poppy. It's called Mission Bell. And those seeds seem to be a little bit bigger than the last, but I think I will grow some of those. All of these that I brought out I'll be growing. I am just picking some that might be of interest to those watching today. I have plenty of planning and starting to do. I did a video planting some tomatoes in um, jiffy pellets that expand. So if that's something you're interested in, that'll be up soon. Like I said, I'm just trying to remember to record everything I do. Because for some people, they might not need to know any of that. And other people, it's brand new. And for some that have been growing for years, it's something they've never tried. And maybe this is the year they need to try it. Um, some things you don't have to do a certain way. You don't have to get one of these trays and buy special stuff. You know, if you have seeds and dirt, you can plant in anything. Anything that you can put drainage in, you can plant in. But, uh going to do some impatient bush mix but sometimes if you're growing on a larger scale it's worth it to invest in bigger things be able to do more seeding in bulk if you have things that you're going to be selling later on down the line and you know you might start them in different size pots everybody has their reasoning if you're brand new to it and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you don't know if you're going to like it um, by all means, save some containers from takeout and what have you and uh, try it that way. Or you can start small, but that's what I want to say. You can start small and it doesn't have to be an expensive venture. Now, I enjoy seeds, different kind of seeds, trying stuff. And for a while I felt like I was hoarding seeds, but... Um, different varieties it's just they're fun and you feel like you're missing out if you're not buying something new but don't go down that hole there um, here's some patriotic cornflower um, this may be a blue color I don't know dollar seed you can see what the flowers look like when you're ordering but as far as the package you don't have anything to go off of so you have drawbacks Doing the seeds the way that Dollar Seed does allows them to cut the cost of packaging and things that generally drive up the cost of buying from places. So companies that put out big, pretty catalogs, that cost, that cost has to be recovered somewhere. So that might be in their gardening supplies and seeds where companies who offer their seeds for a dollar are not using a fancy package they're using basic ziploc bags and a and a label and you just have to go back to the website and refresh your memory 
whenever you go to plant them and that's fine with me I was able to spend a good deal of money with this company and I got a good amount of seeds uh, that I didn't have and at a great price so I could grow for myself and share with others so now I'm looking to see what else we're gonna add here here's some Gallardia I think I will do that Globe Gilia Virginia stock and start with those here for now but basically I just wanted to show everybody um, what I'm doing in a place that you can actually see and not squint and be like wow she's recording in the dark she's not very bright kind of like the light haha but I'm gonna label those and go back and plant them but um I'm just happy to have this little tent greenhouse I guess I'll need to do a, a small video on it and show everybody it's not huge but I do have this planting station or potting station to, yeah. and uh, it gives me a place to go now our yard floods when it rains we don't we rent here we don't own so I don't have much that I can do as far as a lot of in-ground stuff so it even gets a little bit mucky on the floor of the greenhouse here but if I come out here when it's raining it's not gonna rain on my head but then you can't record anything in the background you might hear my neighbor working on the roof or the neighbors dogs but there's light and people can see and that's the important thing so I'm gonna continue go, going through and planting I'm not gonna drag everybody through a long video but thanks for joining me on this one like I say I'm happy to be back finding my groove and I do hope that you'll consider sticking around we can build some more gardening community I know I learn a lot from some great youtubers ideas that I have aren't ones that I came up with they're ones that you learn from other people be it people online or in your family you learn different ways to garden and not every way works for everyone so remember that you may try something and it may not work out and that's okay so don't mind my wrinkly shirt we're out here to get dirty I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Have a good one.